it's not such a good morning, unfortunately. Uh, just had a message off Chris, and uh, Steve's in ICU. He's on oxygen. Uh, we're waiting for another update uh, later on this afternoon. So, yeah, not such a good morning this morning. Um, very upsetting. I've just had an upsetting message off Chris. And then I tried to message you back, and then I was upset. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it, it's worrying times. You know what? It's as if the boys know that something's wrong. I put my boots on and everything in here, open the blinds. There's been no sign of them, which is very, very unusual. Um, they always, well, Chip always comes to say hello. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. There you are. I'm just wandering around the boat like a zombie this morning. Um, well, I've got to do a load of washing, I've got to. <laughs> Went to my underwear drawer and I'm on my last pair. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll have to go and... I'll have to go and do a load of washing. If that was my breakfast, I've had it. You stay there, boys. You stay there. Um, I've got to go to the laundry now. Um, I think I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time in that laundry today. There's uh, bags queuing and all sorts, so um, yeah, coat on and get over there. Well, they forecast strong winds and heavy rain today. Uh, definitely the wind is picking up a little bit and I can feel rain in the air, like a misty rain. It still feels quite mild though, regardless of how it feels. I don't fancy going commando for the rest of the week, so this washing has got to be done. I mean, if worse comes to the worst, I could put a load on chugs and do it on my washing machine, but I really don't like doing that. No, I had a lovely message a couple of minutes ago of a gentleman called Andy, bless him. I was going to get me my hose pipe. Thank you, Andy. All sorted, mate. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> it's black over there. Look at the clouds over there. I might be getting wet on the way back. Well, there's my bag of washing. And now look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I think I'll go and do it on chugs. There's only those two washing machines. And they've got a long way to go yet, so... It'll be back to chugs for me. It's a very weird, weird morning. Horrible bloody morning. Um, but I do have to say <laughs> uh, a big happy birthday to Jules, who's a viewer of our channel. Happy birthday, Jules. Have a good day. Oh, I'll just get back, get me breakfast, and then go and. Wait by the washing machine. This is annoying. I hate Enjoy. using the washing machine on chugs. <laughs> I'm not tight by any means, but oh, I just open the blimmin' laundrette on a Sunday and a Monday. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, going to get a load of washing on now. I've put the electric in. I was going to go and get fuel, but it's getting really windy out there now, and quite frankly, I can't be asked. It's that time in the afternoon and Chip's letting me know that he wants to go for a wee wee. <laughs> and so does Daily Whaley. Right, well the sun's shining but it's very windy. I doubt very much I'll be able to do any filming out there. Um, I had a nice bowl. Oh, excuse me, just get rid of my rubbish. I had a nice bowl of mulligatawny soup. Uh, for my dinner and uh, well I'll tell you what I'm having for tea when I'm outside well I just went to the bathroom and I came back and there appears to be two doggies in my seat they pinched my seat I can't even go for a piddle um, yeah, I forgot to tell you, when I went out walking, I couldn't speak. Um, I actually met up with Chris. Uh, she was walking smudge. Um, 
and we just had a nice long chat of course socially distancing um i didn't go near her or smudge and i did the dogs didn't interact either um yeah so back on the boat anyway yeah what i'm having for tea ian's coming back today um he should be back here at the marina, I'm hoping, about 7 o'clock. And he's going to be dropping fish and chips off. Um, he's calling at the um, the village to the local chippy and getting some fish and chips. So that'll be nice. It'll be good to see me old mucker back in the marina. Um, one went and one coming back. Uh, I just can't wait till we're all back together again. going on in here there's no sign of any doggies out here the easy jaily whaley but where's the chipster whipster oh he's down the back there he's down the back there good morning little babies oh chihuahua kisses i love chihuahua kisses he's a good boy well it's the only kisses i'm getting isn't it boys yeah hello chipster well yes good morning it's thursday the 18th of February. Didn't really get that much sleep last night. Um, but truth be known, I feel absolutely blimmin' wonderful. Um, I've had a lovely long shower as I need to top my water up today. I've had a beautiful long shower. I'm smelling like a Christmas morning. Um, I've had one of those days where I just felt like sort of dolling myself up a bit. And you know the sort of days. Um, I'm never dirty. I'm never ever dirty. But um, yeah, some days you just you just want to sort of spoil yourself, don't you? Um, so I have. It was a lovely shower. Feels so good. Uh, yeah, I did a load of washing yesterday. You want to see the amount of washing I'm putting in this machine this morning? <laughs> single man living on his own I do tend to well I can easily do one load a week um, I suppose that's not bad really is it I suppose oh I don't mind doing the chores especially at the moment because it's sort of breaking the day up a little bit oh blimmin heck daily whaley's the first one out I just yeah it's just the dawning of another day really I lie in bed in the morning and and I just think to myself I know what's going to happen today <laughs> you just know what every day is oh they're both out now they're getting ready for their walk I'm just getting my boots on uh, I have got boaty chores to do today I've got to empty my loo got to top my water up and of course not just boaty chores but I've got ironing to do as well I've got that lot to do um yeah it's another day um I haven't heard any more this morning about um, Steve. I'm uh, awaiting a message off Chris. I'm sure she'll uh, sort of keep me in the loop. And then I can let people know. Obviously, we're all very concerned. Um, he was still on oxygen and in ICU. Uh, and apparently he was going to stay there over the weekend, uh, at least, they reckon. But the good news is his lungs aren't damaged the doctor had a look at his lungs and his his lungs look fine so that's good um if he's got good lungs he can fight a lot more so uh, i'm sure he will i'm sure everything will be fine they were going to try him with some food as well because he hasn't eaten for a few days um so yeah fingers crossed and he'll soon be back on amy joe well we're out actually it doesn't feel too bad out here but it is very very wet we must have had a lot of rain in the night. I know it was raining when I went to bed last night. 
And I know it was raining when I got up this morning. Well, when I was lying in bed drinking a coffee this morning, I uh, I knew it was raining. Ian came back, had fish and chips. That was lovely. It's good to see me mate back. And it's good to know that his dad is back home and safe as well. So that is, that's remarkable. He must be a strong gentleman. Fair dues. So yeah, all we need now is Steve back. <laughs> yeah, we need Steve back. We need life back. But the world's still here, folks, isn't it? It'll be fun learning to enjoy it again. Well, both dogs have been, so I'm just going to walk up and walk back just so they can stretch their legs and I can stretch mine. Yeah, just had a nice chat with Marie, if you remember Kevin Marie that have got the boat next to me. Just had a lovely chat with her. It was lovely. Uh, yeah, I didn't know though yesterday was her birthday. Didn't come up on Facebook, so I didn't know, so I wished her a happy birthday. Yeah, it's nice having a chat with them. Just can't wait to see them again. We can have our parties again, hopefully. And our cruising together. They're such a laugh. We have such a laugh. Well, I have such a laugh with them. And I have had, in the past, amazing parties. Amazing company. As I say, except when he's had uh, jelly babies. If he has jelly babies, he goes on a hyper. And you just want to swing for him, to be honest. <laughs> but I love him. <laughs> oh, just wish they were here now. Never mind. Talking to a few boaters as I'm walking. Everyone's asking about Steve. Obviously, we're all worried about him. But he's a he's a big, strong lad. He'll be fine. Won't be long. He'll be back with us. But from what I've heard, um, this is quite a long recovery after you've had it. It's not like the flu or anything like that. Well, it's similar to the flu, I suppose, but it's more intense, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But a lot of people have turned to doctors. I've noticed that since this. Since this. Some of the things I'm reading on media, everyone's a doctor. I was a truck driver. We'll leave it at that. Well, I've had my breakfast and I've got, an em I've got a loo to empty. I need to top my water up and really I can, wouldn't mind some more fuel. So, I think I'm going to do the easy thing. I'm just going to take chugs around there. Uh, I'll go out first and see if it's too windy. so I might as well just go and take the boat. Yeah, that's it. Another cold spot coming in I think isn't it? I'm not sure. I've heard but you never know do you? No. Just noticed my hat's come off my chimney, look. I'll have to do that when I get in. Oh dear. Yeah, we've had some strong winds and it's obviously blown the hat off my chimney. It did come off the other day. I keep meaning to put some uh, self-tappers in. Gonna have to do it. <laughs> Looks like I'm tipping my hat to everyone.
always have a look at that wind sock when I go around here just to see which way the wind's going. should have been recording when I reversed into the bay. I made a cracking job of it and unfortunately I pressed the wrong button. So I've got me Lou to take. Now I'm going to fix me at. Yeah. Well, that's a nice easy fix. I've got to put some screws in there to, uh, to hold it on. It's come off a couple of times now. Right, you don't want to come in here. Karen's informed me that nobody else is booked in at the moment here, so uh, I can film a water up here. So that'll be good. I know uh, you, you normally now have to book in, you see, to come over here. <laughs> right, let's get me water filled. Just makes life a lot easier filling the water up here. It's just a straight from the tap in. I don't have to run the hose up the pontoon and up the side of the boat. So uh, yeah, get this done. Go and empty me bin and hoover, clean and iron. And edit. <laughs> Very windy. It's coming from the starboard side now, quite strong. I'm going head on when I go around the corner, head on into the wind. <laughs> <laughs> 